Uh, so this is a trigonometric a kind of a question. Uh, so we are told solve the equation 2x 2 cos squared x minus sine x is equals to 1 for the range 0 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 360 uh, which is 4 marks. So we start by saying uh, what you need to do here is uh, we learned that uh, cos squared theta or we can still use x let's use x x uh, plus sine squared x is equals to 1 so if we take this uh, sine squared x to this side it implies that cos squared x is equals to 1 minus sine squared x so we can now come and replace our cos squared x with this so that we have uh, uh, one unknown that is sine x so we come and say this is 2 instead of cosine we write 1 minus sine squared x uh, plus sine not, not plus but uh, minus minus sine x uh, we bring 1 to this side is equals to uh, minus 1 is equals to 0 so when you open the bracket this will be 2 minus uh, 2 sine squared x uh, minus sine x minus 1 uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have uh, 1 uh, minus 2 sine squared x minus sine x is equals to zero this is equals to zero two uh, so uh, so that we get rid of the minus sign uh, we take everything to the right hand side so we have two sine that uh, sine squared x when once you take this one to the other side it becomes positive sine becomes positive sine uh, sine x and the one will be minus minus one is equals to zero uh, so that let sine x equals to y so we can write this is 2 uh, 2 uh, 2y plus y 2y squared rather plus y minus 1 is equals to 0 this is a quadratic equation so we can solve this quadratic equation we use the factorization method mm, so we we'll say we can rewrite our equation as 2y squared instead of y we write minus 2y that is plus 2y minus y uh, minus 1 uh, minus 1 is equals to 0 so we factor out what is common so we have y uh, is uh, 2y is equals to uh, y plus 1 y plus 1 and the other one will be minus 1 then we have y plus 1 is equals to 0. 2y is it minus 1 is equals to 0 or y plus 1 is equals to 0. Implying y is equals to a half or minus 1. And since we had defined our y to be sine x, it means sine x is equals to a half uh, or my sine x is equals to uh, minus 1 uh, we look for the angle sine inverse of an angle which is uh, a half uh, so this angle when you get the sine inverse you get x is equals to 30 degrees uh, using the unit uh, circle we also know that uh, sine is positive in the second quadrant so the sine in the second quadrant is 150 degrees uh, we don't have any other angle in between uh, 360 and 360 that is whose sine is equal to a half. What about when sine is equal to a minus 1? Sine is equal to minus 1 is when the angle is 270 degrees. So these are the angles that uh, satisfies our equation. I hope you have understood and thank you for watching.